Hi everyone. So before you start the next video, before you start video 1.3, so this video I recorded a few days ago and you see that in this video the website has CSV data, but if you go now to the New York uh, taxi data set and you see that there is this big notice and it says all files will be stored in the parquet format. So now if I go here, you see that instead of CSV, like in this video, everything is in Parquet. So I wanted to show you how to actually read Parquet files, so it's easier for you. So for that, let me just copy the link and we will download them. I'll go to the data folder and just use wget to download not January. And then for February, the pattern is the same. I'll just replace one with two. So now we have two files. And you see that actually Parquet files are much, much, much smaller. So that's why I guess they decided to go with Parquet instead of CSV. And now I'll start Jupyter Notebook. I will create a new one and start. So for that we'll use Pandas for reading the, the files. It will be the same, Pandas SPD. But now instead of using read CSV, we will use read parquet, right? And then we'll use data and then parquet file. And it will probably complain now. So it either needs to, so a dependency is missing. So it either, need, either needs to use pi arrow or fast parquet for reading this. And we don't have any of them. So we need to install them. So just go ahead and install it right here. It's the same as typing in uh, in the terminal here. So I'll just do pip install. I'll go with pi arrow and execute that. And now if I re-execute this one more time, I have the file. Right. This is the same data as previously but in bracket format and if we look at the types it's actually a little bit different so when you see the video later we needed to do parsing here so this one parses string to date time we do not need to do it here because it's already date time so effectively like we just need to to remove that so let me check that it actually works so copy this thing to verify that it works and now the frame duration yeah so it works without problems so now when you watch the next video this is the result you will see i will go ahead now and adjust our notebook here so this notebook here i will change it so it will contain the code for reading packet file but for you so you're not confused when you see the next video you will know that now parquet is there and CSV is not there. Okay, that's all I wanted to show you for this video and see you soon.